Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tony'sPicks.com. Time for NBA Playoff 3-Pack from Joseph Schultz. He is a unit leader at Tony'sPicks.com for 2023 and also top of the charts here at 2024. So we'll bring in Joseph right now as we take a look at this NBA uh, card here. Get the, the picks from the three games here on Monday. Joseph, how's it going? It's going well. I um, just finished up my um, my today's card with a good win with the, the Wolves. They ended up having a good second half and getting it done for us so yep nice that uh, went for the uh, wolves they sweep and they move on to the next round looking very impressive by the way <laughs> and, oh, the and, and my knicks my knicks in a thriller Woo! yeah that was a nice one that was a tough one to get they got the road win which is a big here against philadelphia so uh philadelphia backs up against the wall now we'll see how this runs if they can close it out in MSG but we got some games here on the board tonight there is a closeout game on the on the card tonight but we're gonna look at this one here to begin our our three pack on TNT Celtics and Heat going head to head we see the Celtics big road favorites here 10 and a half with a total of 203 yeah really really big favorites and there's always a risk laying a number this big you know in the playoffs against a well-coached um, experienced tough team like the Miami Heat, um, Celtics, as we know, they, they're heavily reliant on their three pointers, you know. And with that, it comes, you know, some variance, and it's kind of what we saw in Game Two. Three games played this series already, um, two twenty-point blowouts by the Celtics, and one outright win as big underdogs for for the Heat. Games one and three, this is what we saw. Um, the Celtics shot a combined 21 more three-point shots than the Miami Heat, and they shot it at a higher percentage as well. So heading into game two, Eric Spolstra, you know, he said he said that um, they can't be outshot from three-point by, by as much as they are um, as far as three-point attempts. Game two... That was the Miami win. The Heat took 11 more three-pointers than Boston did that game, and they shot out of their minds over 53%. They they went all in on that strategy. They had a great shooting night, and it's almost like the stars lined up for them, and, and they got the job done. Now, I'm going out on the limb here, but I don't think they're going to shoot 53.5% from three. Um, they could, you know, take a lot of three-pointers to try to match the Celtics, but they're not going to shoot over 50% probably, you know, again, this year, um, the, the rest of the playoffs. Again, there is high variance with teams that are so reliant and shoot so many three-pointers like um, the Celtics, but Miami, you know, they are missing two of their most important guys. The Celtics aren't you know, a one-trick pony. They can get it done other ways. They have an extremely um, well-rounded roster um, with with guys that can put the ball in the bucket even if the three-pointers are dropping. So they're not your stereotypical team that leads the league in three-point attempts. They, you know, they can get it other ways. Um, but if they're really off, I can see maybe a win without a cover. But the Heat showed a lot of heart getting that game, but um, the scales are t they're tipped too much in the Celtics' favor here. Um, the spread, as big as it is, is justified to me. I think the Celtics take care of business here. I see a 20-point Celtics win for the third time in four games. All right, Joseph Schultz, click the link below for his best bet, Celtics and Heat. He'll be on the Celtics here, laying the 10.5 points. Right, we'll continue here on our... NBA three pack guys uh, when you get to the, you can click the link to get to Joseph's page in the description and the promo code 20 checkout will save you 20% off all pre and pick packages so go ahead and get signed